It's the biggest game in town, attracting some of the greatest players on the planet, with huge personalities, big egos, and wads of cash. We're at the Dust Till Dawn Casino for 48 hours of non-stop poker. Just four hours in, and Viffer was storming the big game, outdoing one of poker's hottest players, Sam Trigget. What do you think, Kyle? I think we had the same hand. Show him, baby! Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Right? <laughs> We're not playing the new seven? <laughs> and in eviction number one... I can tell you the player that is being evicted from the table right now, Bruno Fatusi. Waiting in the wings, it's the online trash talker extreme, Luke Full Flush Schwartz. I was on to you, I'm gonna be on to you all night. Go <laughs> back with the 5 10 game. So you're gonna be in a couple hours. I've been joined throughout in the box by poker player and writer extraordinaire Dusty Leather Ash Schmidt, looking at the biggest winner so far, Viffer. Just taking this game apart, as he did last year, over 20,000 pounds ahead. Devilfish going well, as is Jennifer Tilly and the two ladies, Dinara Kazieva and Annette Oberstadt. The losers, however, Sam Trickett was one of the most talked about players in poker. He's been stopped up so far tonight, 17,000 pounds behind. Uh, Neil Channing, he's always a slow starter, and the other losers have been booted from the table. Coming into the supposedly empty seven seat is Luke Full Flush Schwartz. I swear you were sitting there, innit? Yeah. Hey, I'm on to you. I couldn't see the flop very well from there. <laughs> I couldn't see the flop very well. I couldn't see the flat very well, but look at see you dog that you could have had on. I chips. was on to you. I'm gonna be on to you all night. Yeah, but I was gonna leave the chips oh, here. Oh man, did this game just go from good to great? Full flush in town, and Schwartz sitting down with. 20,000 pounds, so he's coming in good stack. Yeah, this could really add an interesting dynamic because we've seen Trickett and uh, Viffer go back and forth, and Full Flush, uh, I think, might actually be more inclined more than anybody to get in an ego battle with Viffer, so. Uh, oh, for sure. I mean, if you're last year, big game four, uh, Full Flush came in, he was sitting on Viffer's left for all those many hours, played a couple big pots to him, and went broke to him. All right, well, we've got action right here. And Annette, she's done this so many times. Uh, do you see Viffer and her getting it all in here? She's re-raised, he's re-raised. Yeah, anything's possible because with the trash Viffer plays, this has got to look like pocket jokers, <laughs> you know, two tens. So, you know, I, I could definitely see him uh, playing this hand pretty aggressively, especially given his image. Sorry, I, I was wrong. Viffer just called the 450. I thought he had re-raised. It's, oh man, is, is Denara picked a bad time to do this? Or is it... A, yeah, it looks like she's going to get her hand caught in the cookie jar. It doesn't mean it's a bad play, but... You know, she played really tight, now she she might be kind of... Look at that! Oberstadt! Oberstadt just let the ace king go! Wow. That was unexpected, I'll say that. Like, quickly. Are you guys close to getting married? Do you love him? He's, he's never folded tens pre-flop in a cash game in his life, and, and I, yet he's struggling with it. I don't really like it if he's thinking if about calling. If you stack calling. me, can I get your phone number? <laughs> How much? 1275? The pot's too big. I think he's got to go ahead and 16, fold 16. a jam. Such a bad call. I mean, if you ever want, if you ever want proof of how strong image can be, right? Yeah, and I think she's she's made that play a number of times. I don't think people can. If I'm ever homeless, I'm gonna call you, and if you're ever really happily unmarried, you're gonna cook me dinner. And yet, even still, <laughs> Viffers made this call, and unless a 10 comes... And if I stack you, I'll take you to well, McDonald's. It, the stacks are it, they're a little awkward, and I think that's that's where he was kind of tied. If she had, like, 2,000 less, I think he, she, he just gets it in with her, but... 
the stacks were kind of right for, you know, calling being an okay play. Is she considering giving it up? If she's ever going to shut down, this would be a good flop to shut down. It's well coordinated. It's the type of flop that hits a lot of ifers, queen jacks and jack tens and ten nines and eight sevens and all that type of stuff. And I think if there's ever a flop, all right, we that she go gives it, King. this, this would be a good one. And if he checks back, you know, I'd bluff like a king or an ace, certainly, or maybe even a jack. Probably not a jack, probably a king or an ace. Oh, she was so close. But she has to be thinking now, listen, I've still got nine grand left. Let's go back to square one or I mean, that's a bad bluffing card to turn. Yeah, right? I don't I don't think this this is a good spot for her to bluff. I think Viffer's only concern is that maybe, you know, obviously, since he gives her a lot of credit that she might, might have a hand like Jack's. It's kind of like pot when you control, find out all men are pigs, you could call me. I said, when you find out all men are pigs, you could call me. <laughs> Have some gum in my purse. No, gum's not sexy on TV. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not. You might be I can't remember the exact details of it, but I believe there's some history between full flush and the devil fish. Some name calling and that sort of thing. Um, just the usual stuff that makes for a good game when they're sitting next to each other. Oh, yeah. Simon, one second. Oh, I haven't said anything to right. each other yet. It's going to play nice. What are you going to call it? Not again. See, one bet, 475. I'm not going to put you through any torture. Do you want me to call or do you want me to fold? Everybody knows my word is good, so whatever you say. It's up to you. No, no. This guy takes two hours over every call. <laughs> no, I, I <laughs> just... Sound. You've already taken Shut up. You've already taken 30 minutes over you ain't two hours. Here. Now I'm going to beat her then. I would have folded if you wanted me to fold. Eight, six, four. Listen, you. Uh, I got you to hurry Go back up. to the 510 game. So you're going to be in a couple of hours. <laughs> well, how do you think I got here? Check. C6, check. It's starting. It has started. Started. Schwartz is playing. Viffer is he's he's combining playing and, and flirting, his social life. He's got everything wrapped up in here, Viffer, you know. He's oh like, yeah. Well C <laughs> six, that's five hundred. <laughs> Shouldn't be a whole lot more going on here. Viffer will bet and she will almost certainly get rid of the hand. Really? She checking that on the flop? She's not obliged to kind of call one bet here on the turn? I mean, you can, but I don't like it unless you're also planning on calling a, ri a ton of rivers. Is, is it just so... Because Viffer's just not going to stop. Yeah, right. She's about to meet the Viffer monster. And, and he really should bet big here, right? Yeah, I, I would. It's going to be hard for her to lay down a full house of any kind, and he's probably got her on some type of pocket tens or, you know, she three bet and then check back to flop. It looks like pocket eights a lot, pocket tens. Um, you know, maybe an ace king that might decide to hero call. I'll tell you what's interesting. I mean, these qu online qualifiers are playing a tournament so much more than the other players, you know? It, I kind of feel like with, without the rebuy, it's very hard for her to, you know, she would have just called already. You know what I mean? In a lot of spots. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is Viffer. I got ace high. I called the turn. Yeah, exactly. Like, I, if I was an online qualifier, I'd probably fold this. And, you know, I could consider calling it, you know, normally if I'm if I'm playing there because, you know, I'm not going to go bust or, or get super short stack because of one hand. So, uh, you know, she's in a tough spot. See, one call. She's going to hate this. Only four nines. A lot of the reason why I don't call, like her call that much is because I don't think yeah, Viffer really thinks that he's going to get people it's off full houses fault. too much, so he I think he's value betting disproportionately to, to, to his bluffs there. No, I wouldn't. Not after what I've been doing to her. I'm trying to build a happy... Make a lot of nuts in this game. The game's on. <laughs> this guy's I mean, quad, I, I he's mean, got a massive stack, and he's me. got Schwartz on his left. I'm a nut peddler. 
£26,000 ahead. The night is young. We're back after the break with more from the Party Poker Big Game here at the Dust Till Dawn Casino. Welcome back to the Party Poker Big Game. For 48 hours, you'll see some of the biggest players taking to the table to test their endurance and their bankroll in one of the most competitive cash games in the poker calendar. Let's head back to the table. Vipper's obviously played well like he always does, but he's ran like God in this thing. Yeah, I mean, he, like yeah, he's, he's had <laughs> flushes and full houses. Yeah. Give him two hours of the second best hand and see how it, how it turns out. Yeah, I honestly think he'd be happy if you'd have told him for the whole 48 hours he was going to get this many, like, monster hands. He'd have been like, sweet. And he got them all in the first four hours. So, right. He's cracked the aces. Yeah. I mean, he's everything. Quads. At least three or three flushes or so. I Straights. I mean, there was one straight he managed to check on the river in on the from the button because it just wasn't strong enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, three seventy five. C four. So the music pose, Charlie. Sitting there eating nuts. Really and so this more raise and re-raise. Yeah, there were some raise and Channing re-raised, and Annette's called here. She's. I'm sorry about that. That was obvious, but you didn't see it. I wasn't paying attention. C four check. Channing's got some nuts going on. Hmm. Ironically enough, making the jack probably hurt Annette because if the turn had bricks, she probably would have let out and got him off his hand. <laughs> right. I'm really shocked to see him bet here. He must have her on a pair of nines every time. Type of, like type of hand. <laughs> you bet any other street, I wouldn't fold. <laughs> and that overstart, putting an extra five thousand pounds on. I and I don't know. Huh? I didn't know now I she only originally out. came she sat down with ten thousand pounds, so she could have always put this extra on. She's actually adding it on where she's even ahead in this game. So you can only assume that she's decided this is a favorable game for her to pop up in. What, what, what do you think? Well, you know, I, I almost feel like. This is arguably the toughest lineup we have right now, so I, I'm not quite sure what she's thinking. She might. She's got a tough seat. Yeah, she's in a, a tough, tough game. Seat. Yeah. Schwartz has opened this to 150, and Denara, I, I guess the call here is probably she just doesn't have enough chips to do anything else, does she? Yeah, right now, in fact, she she should be looking for some spots where like it. It's a raise and a re-raise and a few callers, and maybe she gets a hand like ace four suited and jams it, or like pocket threes and figures she'll have a ton of fold equity, and, and if she gets called, she, she won't be in too bad a shape. This type of stack, she can almost play like a little bit of a short stack strategy. And it's really not that short of a stack because it's over 100 big blinds, <laughs> but it's just the way the game plays because you get so many callers before the flop, but the pots just get so big in a hurry. They push the chips around when you're on Luke has led at this for 550, yeah, and, and and oh, she she's flatted him. Dinara, this is uh, quite amazing. Yeah, I really don't like this by Luke. I would like this play a lot better if it was if the queen were a black queen and it was rainbow. And the logic being that it's really hard for anybody to make a really strong hand, and sometimes if you just fire into the field three times, they, you get folds eventually. But with the presence of the flush draw, I think it's it's just going to be that much harder to get through everyone. So, uh, considering he has no equity when when called, I'm not too too big of a fan of it. She, she's actually, I mean, she floated there trying to kind of rep a, an ace, right? Hoping it would be checked to her on the turn. Yeah. He's got this through till he just laid down the flush draw. What? What's up? Yeah, he got it through, and you know, he got, he, he, he was fortunate to have a, a pretty much a perfect turn card to uh, to do that. Schwartz getting off to a good start. 
What do you think about Luke? He's, I think he's been on tilt for like the last couple months or something. You just feel like, I mean, he's coming to this game. He's just, it's like, you know, you would expect him to kind of, I don't know, let's get the lay of the land or something like that. He's just, he's just come in and completely fired. Now, obviously, he's been watching a little bit I've got from enough, the rails, so he must have an idea about what people are doing. Well, that's his style, certainly. And, I mean, Luke's a fantastic player. He's a good hand reader. He knows how to play poker really well. I think he gets in his own way sometimes, and that's, you know, why he really hasn't elevated to probably where he thinks he should be or where he'd want to be. But there's no question that he knows how to play poker. I mean, it's, it's, it's obvious watching him play. Yeah, he doesn't exactly follow Mason Malmut's rules of money management. No, no, no. <laughs> Well, there's a flop for uh, Tilly. Yeah, Biffer's got the flush this, draw. The money could go in here. This could be fun. We got a nut flush draw and three of a kind. And it's Biffer. <laughs> Oh boy. Ouch. Question is, will she value about this? I could see her checking behind here a lot, but. Really? <laughs> well, a lot of it is just it's hard to get paid even if Viffer just has a 10 now that the flush has come in. You might have a better chance of getting a little extra value out of the 10. <laughs> Well, as it turns out, somehow, uh, I think Jennifer's going to find a way not to lose a whole lot of money here. She, she's, the bet's so small, right, what kind of bet is that? that she's thinking that if she doesn't raise, she'll feel terrible. Yeah, and this is, uh, this is, this could be an interesting pot because she might look at this and go, how do I not raise three of a kind? And then Viffer's going to obviously come back over the top. going to laugh at me. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. He's, he's, that, that's what's preying on her I mind. Call. Before. Now Viffer's going, why didn't I double pot it? <laughs> yeah. Now he's feeling like the idiot. She actually feels like she's won the pot. She just now almost uh, feels like she's won. I think he just thought that she had like an ace high or like pocket sixes or something, and he was just trying to get anything. <laughs> oh my god. No wonder he's the most aggressive player at the table. Just has some nuts every hand. He does. Yeah, he's nuts every hand. It's easy to bet when you have He's like sort of based on the fuck, but then you probably weren't going anywhere. No, not flush drawing. Oh, there is. What are the chances that Luke full full of Schwartz ends up the big winner in this game? Well, if he gets hit in the deck anywhere half as good as uh, Viffer has been. With his aggressive style, uh, you know, he could he could definitely put up a big run. <coughs> he gives himself a chance to get big stacks, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's see. Little limp in from the fish. Called all the way around, chanting on the button. Oh, Neil. And it's the 10 jack of hearts for Viffer. Re the raise from the small blind. This is, isn't this what you were saying was a spot where he should have a strong hand here? Well, I was uh, thinking more in terms of the squeeze, but I think in this case, everyone limped. Everyone limped and he's made it 1,400. He made it 14. I mean, I'm not sure why he made it that big because that's actually a hand that you kind of want uh, some action with. It's the type of hand that makes those monsters that win those big pots and uh, deep stack no one that hold them. So is, is this a good spot for her to ship it? I mean, obviously, if she knows what he has, but overall, it's yeah. I, I actually I, I ship this pretty quickly if I'm here. I just now caught her hand, and uh, he basically he has some random bluff or he has like a small pair so much and like worst case scenario like a 
an ace I'm nine. Make it 425. That she's like not that bad against. No, she she I has shipped it. She has shipped it. How much is it? And uh, he's now saying that he he miscounted. He wanted to make it 425. It's a great play here, no matter what happens from Denara, right? Yeah, and and Viffer should still call this actually because. He's getting a very good price, not quite two to one, so, but I mean, she has I a small pair in his mind so often. I think he just tosses the chips in and gambles it. Yeah, he I says he wanted to I make know, it 425, it, but the yellow chips, I mean, it's hard to mistake them. <laughs> unless he's completely blind as a bat. I mean, I mean, unless he actually can't see. <laughs> Poor Viv. Sorry, Viv. They're and struggling. Yeah. He looks like a beaten dog right now, although he's beaten up on everyone else. And look, you know, he's he's 40% here. I mean, this is either Dinara's uh, last hand or she's going to be fairly healthy. Yeah. About 10 grand in here. Yeah, he's priced in. I mean, she just has like, it looks like a loose call. It's really not. It's standard. Queen finds the window. Well, she has to be happy about that. This is quite a sweat here. Yeah, it sure is. I mean, this is like really. Yeah, this yeah with this, deal, she you know? could. I mean, she can go on. I mean, she could. She could turn this into a hundred thousand pounds. Go on, Denara. All right. Thanks, Marty. She's not. She's not there to double up, get out, and make up the numbers. No. I kind of. Uh, I like her her future in this game. And Viffer. Oh, now you take it away. It's interesting because that's one of those things where. If he ends up doing his entire stack to her, 50 grand, he's gonna look back at that pot, you know? Oh yeah, the one that kept her alive, yeah. Yeah, the one where I where I got the chips wrong and made it 1,400 instead of 400. Yeah. I and thought that was odd when yeah. he made that 1,400, so he, he did, he miscounted the, the, the chips because uh, some well, of the chips look similar in color. He's, he's you can say, say that, but all then all based on what he did like last year, you right. really, you really can say 100% for sure that he didn't mean to make it 1,400. <laughs> I can't say 100% for sure. I mean, I mean, That'd be taking a poker player's word. I'd say it's of note that Channing has not topped up. And I don't think he's in love with his seat at this table. Yeah, I think that certainly has a lot to do with it. Luke on the button with the re-raise and the pocket threes, and Sam, Luke could be the kind of guy who flash. expects to just own Channing right. all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that's certainly what he's aiming to do. Why do we have so few yellows? That's what I was trying to do, but he never listened. Stacks are real good here for Channing to just go ahead and play this. Play this for the whole enchilada. If uh, Schwartz gives him the action. I don't really care. It's not a big deal. But just, it's just annoying. Like, so, yeah. so just just check call all the way down, or just kind of get the money in and hope he can. Oh yeah, I'd play this like the complete nuts against Schwartz, top pair, well, no, top kicker. I mean, he's only behind like a few hands. I he can get in good against all, all kinds of draws and worse queens. I, I would really, I, I hate calling actually. Just because the board's just not, it's just not good. You just miss way too much value. You just have the best hand way too much. And is Schwartz good enough to, to shut down here? Well, or is his ego going to get in the way? One thing he could be thinking is, you know, one of the type of hands that, that Channing would check call. Maybe he doesn't think that he could be as strong as what he is. And so maybe he thinks it's a lot of like, you know, jack tens and stuff like that, that maybe he could push him off of eventually. That was a no-win situation. You did knock a little girl out. Check, no check, and now Channing. If you want the pot, you're not too well. Wants to get value if he can. It's somewhere between betting for value and check calling, obviously. Yeah, I don't love leading this too much because Ch uh, Schwartz could definitely be knuckling like a, uh, you know, a jack 10 or something on the flop. And now made three tens. Um, the flush draw didn't miss. If the flush draw had missed, I would like his river bet a lot better. I've not really thought of as a cash player or a tournament player, I think. In fact, I don't think I've thought of as much of a player. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I tend to think of myself as a cash player who's kind of fluked the odd tournament here and there. The big game is uh, something I would never want to miss. Uh, it's a fantastic atmosphere, really good fun. Last year, with the voting system, I was actually voted off at one stage. I was very upset. And uh, within about 10 minutes, they let me go back on again. I think I sulked a lot. 
So this time I'm hoping to play the whole 48 hours. I love cash poker because there's no rush, there's no pressure to do anything. The only pressure is an internal pressure. I'm losing, I want to get my money back. I know I'm going to stop in two hours time and I want to win enough before I go. It's a battle between you and your hidden inner self. 48 hours with some of poker's biggest faces. We're back for more of the big game after the break. It's the big game, Party Poker, the big game number five. And at the table, you can see the stacks, you can see the profit. Viffer leading in both counts, 22 grand ahead with a 42,000 pound stack. The Devilfish is doing well. Losers stay the same. Neil Channing, who's going down and down, and Trickett really digging a sizable hole. Waiting in the wings, a host of very famous players, both from this side of the pond and the other. And with the way this game is rocking, everyone will be trying to get in this game. But uh, Dusty Schmidt is taking a break, and I'm joined, thrilled to be joined in the box now by someone who's not only a big game veteran, but has a big game record, Robert Williamson III. Robert, I believe you've won every time you've played the big game. Well, so far, Jesse, don't jinx me now, buddy. <laughs> Jennifer Tilly picks up ace-queen here, opens it up for a raise, or is that a re-raise? Well, she was the big news on the break because she made a bunch of bluffs during the first session, and all the players have now found out about those. So it's going to be quite interesting. They're not going to give her as much respect, you would imagine, as they did before. Eraj calls. I three bet to 1500 on the button. Yeah. Heads up, Tilly and Channing. What did he raise? 300. 300, let me get 1500. The flop right. comes 10 of clubs. Okay. That's a pretty good Six flop clubs. for a hand like Neil Channing's. Check, check. 550. I bet. He's wasted no time. Now, has Jennifer just checked this to pass? No, E-Rive. My gut Josh feel is yes, but with Jennifer, you never know. Or no, he bets, uh, like I said, no. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I just is this a check raise? Yeah. That's Josh lovely. Josh makes it 7, 000, or 20, and calls, I'll I tell go. you what, Neil's feeling like an open book right now, isn't he? He's hating himself for sure. Oh, he's been, he's been owned. He's been completely handled. He's not going to like it when he sees what he just got bluffed off of. Love the way she played that, Robert. I mean, if she bets the flop, he calls, what happens on the turn? The check raise, so powerful there. It really was. Excellent. Well played for Jennifer Till. Yeah, I mean, I don't plan, I don't plan on leaving. Five hours, I'm exhausted. I'm not leaving, I'm stuck. Too much of a degenerate. Oh, well, I mean, if I lose some money, I'm wrong. But if I'm still here and I still have money, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I like that attitude. 150. They all say that at first. The first 12 or 14 hours. It's amazing how, like, you just you feel like you're never going to quit. And then all of a sudden, after, like you say, 12 or 14 hours, you just feel like, i got to get out of here. Get your on the table. I'm a little bit like Viffer, unfortunately. Don't tell anybody, but I've been up for quite a few hours myself. Cool. And Annette choosing to just flat here on the button with the ace queen. Viffer in the big blind for a hundred. It's called as well. I don't mind that at all. Kind of disguise the strength of her hand. Well, we don't know what the like other card is, but if it's a heart, we could have action. Of course, the one hand that we know that doesn't have anything, Devilfish is the better. Little continuation bet there from the fish. And overall, do you like the, you think Annette's going to go for the raise here? It looks like she's going to raise. Yeah, I think with two hearts out there, she'll go ahead and pop it up raise a little. And, and probably be willing to get a whole lot of money in if she's asked. Definitely a decent amount. My flop or her flop? 
I said that. Well, he, it has him. to be a flush well, draw, huh? Nothing to do with Maybe my that's hand, the so. ace of hearts underneath there. He, he stuck in seven so grand. Nice. And a tough, tough decision for a net overstock. It was my flop until you did that. Oh, oh that's not so tough. That's so tough. I know that's best. Huh? It's worked out well. And that's a little uh, power <laughs> poker from the Ziff. I'm either flipping or way yeah, behind. Oh, he had the four of hearts. He had the pair and the flush draw. No, and I don't think I'd be S9 about it. It might have been nice. It might have been like, yeah, 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 exactly. Made that look easy. I mean, I just don't like this speed tune in the bet. I just want Like, if you tell me it's mine, I'm going to take it. Actually, I had a really good hand. Actually, I had nothing. I can spit for I mean, that. They give me this speed tune and they bet into me. Like, <laughs> they tell me it's mine, and then, and then they try to take it away from me. It's not the best, is it? What do you think the line is right now on whether Schwartz will be a big winner in this game or go broke? I would love to put the line up that he's going to do one or the other. That's that's what I want. I bet he's not going to end up anywhere near even. Bet evens each of two, huh? Oh, you're right. You just want to bet against him being even. Oh, yeah, I'd sit down, right? I love these type situations. Both players have the same hand. Let's see who plays it better. What do you say? It's kind of like a duplicate poker. <laughs> Especially if an ace or a jack flops. So it's a straddle from Tilly. Viffer up to 200. Schwartz up to 750. And now Tilly looking like she wants to take the flop off. There'll be 550 more on Viffer. I'm kind of surprised uh, Ray's re raised that Jennifer Tilly would take this flop off. That was a good rule for Ross Hamilton, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we, uh, People would notice well, and get up. Once quite again, <laughs> 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 the nut flush draw. Yeah, and oh, nice. I was like the nut flush draw earlier. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. A little inside joke. Of course, Jennifer Tilly with an open end straight. And she's led into it yeah. here. You think Viffer might just sort of just ship all the chips in? I wouldn't be surprised. Jennifer has played a little tight at times in her career. Then again, he might just call for that reason. I think he just called. Oh my, look at this. And what's going through Luke Schwartz's mind? Will he make a naked bluff at the spot? Wow. Is there any reason for it? I don't think so. I mean, if the heart doesn't come, Tilly's got the lead. I wonder if Viffer's trying to thinking about making a play on the turn here. Well, now with a flush draw herself, Jennifer Tilly's going to play this hand, even if she gets raised. Four thousand seven hundred pounds in the pot. Well, I, I guess she she could also think about trying to check raise all in or something like that. She's got the kind of stack for it. Yeah, she's got a perfect stack size for that play, Jesse. I like, I like, I like your style and plan. Am I thinking like a Swede? I love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, now that she's taken this long, I think she might be leading. Yeah. I've noticed that about Jen. If she takes that long, she's calling or leading. She doesn't usually take a long time and fold. It's a, it's a bet on the small side, less than half the pot. What is Viffer supposed to think right now? What has she got in his mind? Wow, her range is wide open in his mind. I think he thinks she might have an ace 10 or king 10, just a, a top pair, you know, kind of trying so, to protect. So, I mean, if he doesn't hit, she's going to win this pot. Well, if she, if, she, if she triple barrels. Oh, and she does hit. Now, if she leads out, will Viver think she's making a play at him? Depends what she bets here, because stack size-wise, she might not have enough left for him to make a bluff. That, that might be the only thing saving Viver, Viver right now. 4,000? He's really not liking the way this went so far. <laughs> <laughs> my cards. <laughs> How much do you have left? Yeah. Four, six yeah, thousand. What do you say? Let go. Somebody got dusty like that. She's definitely you know, six thousand. I don't know. If she was a little deeper, he would definitely consider play, playing back at her here. But she's not deep enough, and Viffer knows that. That's the only reason. That's the only thing that kept the crouching tiger, hidden dragon, from launching out at Jennifer Tilly. 
Well, Jennifer Tilly, who was a fairly big winner in the last big game, she's really continuing her role here. She's, she's been quite unstoppable. We'll be back with more action from the Party Poker Big Game after the break. Welcome back to the marathon that is the Party Poker Big Game 5. Look at the stacks on the table. Viffer, of course, on top. Our big losers right now, Neil Channing, Sam Trickett. And you have a look at those stats. Viffer playing nearly every pot, and that'll serve him well in the eviction rounds because the player with the highest V chip, Robert, immune from eviction during the voting process. No matter who's voting, whether it's the players or our online followers. Is that right? I believe so. Right now, Viffer cannot be eliminated, and I think that trend will, be, will continue throughout this 48 hours. <laughs> cool. Well, Annette Oberstad going to wake up with big slick here. She's getting her big hands in great spots, you know, again yeah, here. Yeah, big blind, yeah. And I just feel like she's gonna get called by Trickett. I don't know. She, sque she squeezed an awful lot. Yeah. You know, at some point, you gotta think maybe she's not squeezing. And he does have position, he's got the button. Cool. He just must be saying to himself, I just cannot keep folding to this lady. Action. Well, a good flop for Annette San. Not only not only top pair, top kicker, but just in case it comes a club, she got the backdoor club draw too. But middle pair for Trickett could get her a little payoff. <laughs> Trickett's probably hating this. <laughs> this is this is just this is just horrible. He's just got a little piece of this one. He knows she's gonna be barreling it. He can't stand it. That's a horrible card, too. That's actually really bad for Trickett because if she didn't have the ace, he might think his 10's still good. Don't you think? Depends what size the bet she makes. I think a lot of it's the bet sizing here. She bets a smallish, like a 2200. He might either go for it or try to take her off the hand. Yes, you know, this is, these are the kind of spots you get yourself in if you play these hands and trick it. He's been so good with his reads over the last couple months. You just feel like he doesn't mind making the tough decisions. And she bet almost exactly that amount, 2,300. It looks a little suspicious. But you're right, Sam Trickett has been on fire, and a lot of it's to do with how great his reads have been. <laughs> Did you see that? Yay. He was so close to it. <laughs> it killed him to lay that hand down like that. <laughs> this, this, and that's got drunk people on the rail. This is a... Uh... <laughs> it's good to have a following. And especially, they're only like six hours into the 48. I mean, 12 hours from now, Lord knows what could be going on. No, he didn't have a rep. He had like a gut shot and two backdoor plus trots. I was in there, I was in there. That's for a million two. What's the end of that, ladies and gentlemen? I love how Viffer's ahead like all the money in this game and he's still finding a bad beat story to tell from last month. Cool. Strow from Viffer, raise from Trickett, call from Tilly. Bad beat stories from the fish. So you know you're going to lose the second one. 
I'll tell you, when the fish is in form, he's funny. I love it when he's drinking well, a gambling. Thing. That's when he's really fun. <laughs> I've never seen that. Well, you don't get to see it too often. <laughs> That's the problem. Middle pair for Trickett here on this flop. And I'm a 51% favorite. One thing that's happened since the last time these guys squared off is Trickett was asking some very pointed questions about the hands he was in against Tilly during the first four hours. She bluffed him twice. Now he knows it. And she's trying to make a play again at him. Yeah, he's not going to. This He's not falling for this one as easily, is he? No, definitely not. And that's a blank. So if he thought his hand was good before, he's got to start thinking it's good now again. Or still good. Well, that's interesting. Jennifer's picked up the flush draw here. That actually could elicit another bet from her. She might stab at this twice. I think it was a smallish stab, though. Wait a minute. It's a lot more than I thought. Quick call, 2,000 bet. Quick call from Trickett. The heart is going to be really eerie right now. Oh, that will make the heart a little easier for Trickett. Three nines. And Jennifer has no way to win the pot without a bet. I think if Trickett bets this, oh, oh wow, she checks. Yeah, she's she's realized a good time to give up. He was going nowhere. Yeah, In fact, roo. he might have been check raising. The Rue was over. And uh, Sam getting one back there. What? I said nice hand. Oh, if he's winning a lot of money. I think so. If he's winning or if he really needs to. I've seen him play real good. Yeah. He stuck about 20 grand, Sam Trickett, now losing only about 10. So definitely on the comeback trail. Really? And he really had her number there. I think what you said came true. You know, he saw during the break that she'd been bluffing, bluffing, bluffing. And instead of her changing up, she didn't change up her game against him, and he caught her. Even though if the heart had come, she would have won a lot of money. A lot of money. It's like saying Tom Juan doesn't know how to play. Schwartz with the straddle, wow. Trickett with the same hand, the ace nine suited. Up to 350. And Annette on the button. This this just has re raise all over it. Well, especially with Annette being on the button. Friends want more money in that game than we won this game. <laughs> I don't know. It's a better game. She is relentless. Oh, I love her. <laughs> I tell you what. Are you down for this game? <laughs> Oh my gosh. You got your plan. Your yeah. plan. Wow, Viffer lets go the king queen suited. Don't see that too often. Well, but it is a double bet, you know. Raise, raise we raise. And looky here. Woo! We got a poker game that might have just broke out. Was that a three bet? A re, -re raise? A, a four bet, four actually. Bet. Schwartz all over this. And he's this this re raise is so small. Well, he's he's kind of caught a net out here, right? Yeah, I was gonna say he, he might have actually forced her to call here. He needed to raise just a little bit more. Sure about, just thought the hand about 15. Have, yeah, she have like 13. Maybe a little less. Game on. Oh, and a nice, lovely low flop. Well, in this state, in this case, Schwartz will lead at it again. It's, it's a tough spot for a net. Now we'll see how good of a read a net has on Luke. He's only bet about a third of the pot. Yeah. It's almost like he's inviting her to do something really silly. I think Annette senses something. I don't know if she senses like that much strength or something fishy. I think she senses something fishy. I really do. 
Oh, and she doesn't. The king of the float laid it down. The queen of the float. Pardon me. The queen of the float. Oh, well, Schwartz is the king of the parade right now. He's he's actually been an animal, and he knows it. I mean, he's won tons of pots with the worst hand. He's been on to everything. How is he? He's only ahead 2,000 pounds. He'll come next year. He hates to be left out. Phil Locke is, it feels like a huge it's hole in the big game without Phil yeah. Locke in town. But I kind of think is the it, reason is it, is it, that he hasn't hours? come is because he had that big 115-hour session that you know about at the, at the Bellagio during the World Series, set the kind of the world record. I just kind of feel like after that, he must feel like, what's left for him in the 48-hour cash? Yeah, it's like, why would I go all the way to do 115 hours and then only play 48? Yeah. What's the big deal? It's just like... It's just game. like it's done, you know. So it's, he's he's done it. And he won. Can, oh, yeah. And he won as well, which is pretty impressive when you can't even see straight or you're seeing double when you do see. Are you a good cook? Oh, and look, you hear it. Oh, it's a thousand? Can you hear me say race? Denaro's made it 300, Chili's made it 1,000. Pay attention to the action on the bill. Wow, and instead of asking for his 300 back, where's Rambo? Vipper says, no, I'll still call. Right, and because he's called, it, it gives Denaro much more of a reason to get in here, right? I agree. This could be one of those pots. I mean, you just know the king is coming. Chinese on the phone if I was sat next to you to do it. No, but an eight did come. And that ace, kind of a spooky card for Jennifer Tilly. She has to think somebody has an ace here, but she's going to represent the ace. No, she doesn't. And just like that, because she didn't represent the ace, of course, Viffer got his king. You know, is this pot up for grabs right now? I mean, can Denara represent an ace here? I think she would be the most probable person to have an ace in this hand. Vipper's not checking ace twice on this board, given the action on the flop. I, I so don't understand what a bet here by him is. Is it a value bet? Is this, is he trying to get a better hand to fold? I mean, yeah, maybe a better rag king. I mean, there can't be many hands that he could get the fold here. I really actually disagree with Viffer on this bet. I don't like this bet. I'd much rather give somebody else a chance to bluff. I don't know what to do. You did that little thing where you didn't seem to know I raised. I can't beat much. I can beat a bluff. He's going to look really clever if Tilly calls. I don't know what to do. What would Phil do? Fold. Phil would fold. That's not me saying I fold. And I agree wait, with you. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not folded. Oh. I said that's not me folding. That's what Phil would do here in this spot. But what will Jennifer Tilly do? This is you about Jen. Can't be Not about Phil. <laughs> that was good news for Viffer. Maybe this is come, some kind of a sick value bet by Viffer. I mean, he, he does make these kind of sick value bets. Real thin value bets. I've been feeling she might be paying this off. got to have an ace in the king. He knew he didn't have it. Uh, she talked herself into it. Curiosity kills he the cat. Two. And I should have bet the flop. Yeah, she's hating herself See for that now. See how I knew you didn't have an ace? <laughs> cold, cold for a thousand he wasn't paying flop. attention. <laughs> oh, he had it. <laughs> No, he had like a, he had a little bit like, of I'm sorry, I forgot. You, some people are allowed to gamble. I, I forgot. I'm, I'm quit. I'm quit. I mean, some things are personal, you know? Pardon me for gambling. On a good day, Viffer is unstoppable. So far, it's been a very good day, indeed. 25,000 pounds to the good. Devilfish going well. Denara, Tilly, and Schwartz all making a little bit of a grind. The losers, however, Neil Channing, this is one list he's not proud to be leading. Sam Trickett, he's been down more on a bit of a comeback trail. Smith and Pedersen out to pasture. And for Nat Oberstadt, nothing yet, but still plenty of time to come back.
We'll see you next time for more from the Party Poker Big Game 5. You got any big chips behind that? Focus is very important when you're playing a poker game. It's only when you're playing with good players. <laughs> I'm so not D-list. I'm C, I'm C minus, perhaps. <laughs> you know, if I was A-list, I'd be in Cannes premiering my latest film and standing here with all you degenerates. It's time. Why can't I win anymore? What happened? This game is like my career. It was going so well, and now it's all downhill. How did you just find it? Did you have a good hand? Yeah, of course. I wouldn't pour that money in without a good hand. You know, crazy. So if everyone could take their papers and write the name of the player that they'd most like to see go home, do that now and we will tally the votes.